This video is brought to you by UEI Test Instruments. Essential Instruments, Outstanding Service. All right, guys. I'm gonna set up the hub six on my unit. We have the blue sticker for the low side. Now we're going to hook up the pipe clamp. Pipe clamp number two for the liquid. All right, so we have a high superheat and we only got about two degrees of subcooling. So that's probably, that's actually gonna be low. I believe these units call for about a 10 to 11 degree subcooling and I'm almost positive I'm using an expansion valve inside. So now we're gonna go hook up the airflow probes inside. Okay, here's the air side of the app. I have a duct board plenum, so I just have the supply stuck in the duct board. It's in a closet. So I have the return one just sitting in the filter grill. This is an aluminum filter grill, so the magnet doesn't work. But we're looking for a target delta T of 18, and we're only getting a 15 degree split. And we're still connected uh, on the refrigerant side. We are only, oh, we're, we're up to 7.8 on the subcooling now. Let me verify if I have a TXV or a piston real quick. Okay, so after verification, we're using a piston. Our temperature split is not close. Uh, it's about three degrees off. So there's our wet bulb reading. So I'm going to go into uh, check and charge 410A. Superheat non TXV. Our wet bulb is 58. Let's see what the temperature is out here. Seventy-nine. We'll go, so we'll have to go eighty. Eighty degrees. Let's get our pressures real quick. We need our vapor pressure and our suction line temperature. Our vapor pressure is 111. Our suction line temp is 62. 
Vapor pressure, we'll go with 110 and 62. Yeah, we're off the mark. We're looking for a superheat of 5. We're at 25. Okay, so we'll take our hose here and we don't have to have a T because the hub has it built in already. And we're going to do this to our jug. Okay guys, I can't do this with one hand, so give me a second. Okay, we have the hose hooked up. We have the foam sitting right here. 24 degrees superheat, we're looking for around five, so. Open that up real slow like. And you can see the pressure rising as it's going in. This is a uh, York, York uh, Luxair, one of their newer systems. It is a non-micro channel. It's not a heat pump, so you can get it in non-micro channel. This one is a non-micro. It needs to be cleaned. So, all right, we're coming down pretty quick now, so we're gonna let it sit there for a minute. Okay, so I overshot it a little bit, right about two degrees of superheat. It's coming back up, but you can see our, tar our target temperature split is getting closer. We're only about two degrees off. Superheat is at 4.5, right at, there we go, 5 degrees. 13 on the subcooling. That pressure doesn't look bad. So we're right in our target. Temperature split's coming up. I want them to come up to about 16. So it's a very nice tool, guys. You know, it's uh, they are made a little different. You know, these do swivel. You know, and it doesn't matter if it's field piece, Testo, or UEI. There's going to be certain units where they're not going to fit like this. You're going to have to get the little six-inch extension hoses. But on this particular, on this York unit, it, they fit perfect. I don't need any of that. And that's what's great about the UEI is that if they do fit and you don't have to have anything else, the T is already built in. You don't have to worry about adding a T. So, and of course, if you hit this plus button right here, you can see uh, relative humidity, dew point, empathy on both return and supply. And if you just tap it, it goes away. Our temperature split is exactly two degrees off. Our uh, superheat has came up to about 12. So it's bouncing around a pretty good bit. But it's still, it's a very nice tool, it really is. Uh, I'm impressed with it so far. Superheat's wanting to, starting to hang steady. We're still close uh, to our markets coming down. I'm gonna watch it. Make sure we're within five degrees. 
Yep, the airflow probe is still connected. I just saw the uh, my Delta T move. So, yeah, see we're at 10. We're within five. All right, guys, well, there's a quick, short demonstration of the Hub 6. It's a good tool, man. You know, if you're in the market for a set of smart probes, don't overlook this one. I'm impressed. Good tool. And I want to thank UEI again for giving me the uh, chance to use it. I'm, I'm truly grateful. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Thank you all for watching. See you guys on the next one.